Hello everyone, this is Multisuper LMAO and today I'm bringing you another Tekka tutorial. Um, today we'll be making a machine that will make us automated scrap that we can use for our mass fabricator. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Oh wait, a um, couple things. If you don't know how to make, for example, this block breaker, um, if you don't know you can just type it in here so you see it and then you can just hover over it and press R and it will show you the crafting recipe. And also, all the things you see here is actually everything that we'll need. Might not need as much, like not as much of these pipes, but whatever. So I'm just going to go into creative mode, and yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is make like a 3x2x2 three by two by two hole. So it has to be like too deep. And we'll dig out the center so we can stand here, and then just place the two block breakers from underneath. So that they're facing this way. Um, yeah, now just fill up this, and temporarily you have to fill up this with dirt or any other block that you want. Now, on the one side we'll put water, two water buckets, and on this one we'll put two lava buckets. It has to be two, otherwise it won't work. Now we can r get rid of this dirt here, and it will automatically generate a uh, cobblestone. Now to get this cobblestone out of here, we're going to use some redstone tubes, like uh, like this. Um, and we're going to use a timer. I'm just going to put a lever here to stop the timer for now. I'm going to put a piece of redstone here to connect it with a tube. And as a time, we'll set 1.4 seconds. I noticed that this works best, um, but you can, you know, experiment with it and see. Uh, what works for you. So now we will, um, let's see, we'll get this recycler out and uh, I'm just going to place it here and you want to connect the tube to the top of this thing. Make sure it's not uh, getting attached through the side because that's not going to work. Um, so now let's just we are out of creative now. Um, we're going to use these overclockers to put in here just to make it go a little bit faster. Um, Alright, now we can place our mass fabricator. It has to be about two blocks away. Um, okay, now we can m use some pipes. We'll have to, uh, you have to put this wooden pipe next to the thing, to the recycler, like to the side of it and then it's gonna need to go underneath this mass fabricator because this is where the scrap will go, it will go in here um, let's see so we'll also get a place for the UU matter to go after this like that. Uh, just use some redstone engines here. There we go. Um, so let's see what now. Um, yeah, well now we're just gonna have to give them some power. I like to use uh, solar panels. Doesn't really matter what you use as long as it has enough power, because especially the mass fabricator takes up a lot of power. Um, it is a bit annoying with all these pipes, you have to go pretty much to the side of this. Oh, I see that this is going to be... No, we can still enter it from the back. That's what she said. Um, so now we can just... You have to use this uh, transformer here, just otherwise the recycler will blow up. Just use this... Uh, Glass fiber cable. You can use copper, or whatever. Uh, oh no, that's not right. It's not supposed to be connecting to that. Hold on one second. Yeah, right. So it has to be one. Whoops, one further, like this, so that this does not connect so with this thing. Otherwise, it will still blow up. So I like to use about three of these 
Uh, you know, you can use two if you want. Oh, by the way, these are medium voltage solar arrays. Just, uh, just pointing that out. Uh, you can actually use two. It'll be exactly enough. But I like to have a little more. You know, just useful. Um, so yeah, now we can just turn this on. You know, it'll automatically break these blocks and get generated again. Like that. And it'll go into the recycler. We'll make some scrap. Get pushed out of here. And it should go into the mass fabricator. Here it comes. It looks like crap. And uh, yeah, there we go. So as you can see this is not very practical with all this crap around it. You know, you wouldn't really want to have this in your house. Maybe outside, but you know, uh, not not that useful. But I'll just show you uh in my single player world how I have built this into my house. Um so you can do it a lot more practical and you know, not take up as much space as this. So I'll just go into my single player world and I'll see you there. So yeah, I'm in my single player world and uh, I, do, I dug up in the floor a little bit so you can see what's going on here. Uh, also I switched to the, uh, what's it called, uh, whatever texture pack that everyone uses. Um, I'll put the link in the description as well as the other thing. Um, so yeah, this is the recycler. It gets stone from a machine that is over here so I have six of these uh, you know going into this ender chest which will automatically filter them as you can see here you know may maybe a little bit, a little bit tricky to understand but it will filter out all the stuff and yeah, it goes into here and it gets the scrap gets sucked out of here into this teleport pipe now this teleport pipe will send scrap back into here uh, it's currently kind of overflowing but it's not really a problem um, as you can see I had to lay the wire around it so it can still get power and then around the back is actually how I get my stuff out of here so this one is for the recycler it just sucks out any kind of scrap uh, goes into this teleport pipe which will also get all the items sorted and this one for the mass fabricator will suck out any UU once it's finished doing that it's not really near finishing right now but whatever um, so yeah I doing these things around the back is probably a lot easier than uh, the way I showed you before and uh, oh yeah another thing Oops. I also have six overclocks in here just to make it go a little faster. I think four is enough, but six just helps. Um, so yeah, I, th I think that's all right now. Um, so yeah, I hope I hope that you will have fun with this making it yourself. And uh, oh yeah. Um, I don't really know what to do next with like videos so you can give me any suggestions on what you want me to make and I'll make a tutorial for it um, and yeah maybe I'll do some other games as well I don't know um, just if there's anything you don't know how to make or whatever you can simply ask it in the comments and you know I, there's a pretty good chance that I will make this this thing that you want um, so yeah, I hope I see you guys later, and have a nice day I guess.